everyone. Welcome to our special Techno channel. Last session, we talked about how to publish raster data formats in Joe server. In this session, we will talk around the concept of SLD and how to define the styles for point feature types by Joe server. If you want to know more details about it, watch the rest of this video. A style layer descriptor or SLD is an XML scheme defined by OGC which is used to stylize layer or groups of layers. In other words, it's a tool for cartographic formatting of layers. The SLD addresses the need for users and software to be able to control the visual portrayal of geospatial data. The ability to define styling rules requires a styling language that the client and server can both understand. Initial server styling is most often specified using SLD style documents. Style documents are associated with Joe server feature types to specify how they should be rendered. A style document specify a single named layer and a user style for it. The layer and style can have metadata elements such as a name identifying them, a title for displaying them, and an abstract describing them in detail. Each feature type of style contains one or more rules which control how styling is applied based on feature attributes and zoom level. Rules select applicable features by using filters, which are logical conditions. To specify the details of styling for individual features, rules contain any number of symbolizers that specify styling for points, lines, and polygons, as well as rasters and text labels. Types of styling Vector data that Joe Server can serve consists of three classes of shapes, points, lines, and polygons. Lines are the simplest as they have only the edge to style also known as stroke. Polygons have an edge and an inside also known as a field, both of which can be styled differently. Points have both an edge and field that can be styled. For fields, color, and for strokes, color and thickness can be specified. Joe server also serve raster data. This can be styled with a wide variety of control over color palette, opacity, contrast, and other parameters. More advanced styling is possible as well. The styling can be based on attributes in the data so that the certain features are styled differently. Text labels and features are possible as well. Also, it can be determined by zoom level so that the features are displayed in a way appropriate to their apparent size. Simple points. To familiarize you with SLD file curation, we will compose a simple style to apply a small square with a random color to all the points features. Navigate to the style section from data menu. Click on add a new style. Enter simple point in the name field and select SLD in the format field. From the list of default styles, select point option, then click on the generate link. Now we will explain some elements. There is one rule in one feature type style for this SLD, which is the simplest possible situation. The first line specifies the XML version and the encoding character set that you are using. The name element shows the name of the style that you defined in the name field, line 8. The title element assigns a descriptive name to the style, line 10. Styling point is accomplished via the point symbolizer element, line 14 to 24. Line 17 specifies the shape of the symbol by a predefined graphic with the well-known name element. Here is a square and other options are circle, triangle, star, cross, and X. A fill element defines the point color based on hexadecimal with the CSS parameter element, line 18 to 20. Here the color is set to red. Finally, line 22 specifies that the size of the shape is 6 pixels. Remember that in SLD documents, some tags have prefixes, such as OGC. This is because they are defined in XML namespaces. The top level style layer descriptor tag specifies some XML namespaces, like XMLNS, XMLNS colon OGC, and so on. Lines 2 to 5. The first namespace is the default for a document. So tags belonging to it don't need a prefix. But the second one requires the prefix OGC. The key point is that tags need to have the prefix for namespace they belong to. Click on validate to check if you misspelled something. 
When it returns no errors, click on the Apply button. Switch to the Publishing section and click on the school's flag to make this style to default for that layer. Click on the Save button. Go to the Layer Preview section and open up the Open Layers Preview for the school's layer. Your map should now look as shown in the screen. You just created a new style for a simple point symbol and assigned it as default to a layer. This is the first step in creating custom maps, where you decide how and what has to be drawn. Rotated point with a stroke. This example adds a stroke or border around the simple point and rotates it by 45 degrees. Click on Add a new style from the Styles page and enter a stroke point in the name field. Select Simple Point Style from the existing style, then click on the copy link. On the Style Editor page, press Enter button at the end of the tag element in line 20 and add following codes in the new line. Press Enter at the end of the size element in line 26, then add rotation element in the new line. Now let's explain the new elements. Lines 21 to 24 specify the stroke with line 22 setting the color to black and line 23 setting the width to 1 pixels. Line 27 set the rotation is to 45 degrees. Click on Validate to check if you misspelled something. When it returns no errors, click on the Apply button. Switch to the Layer Preview section and click the layer name above the Preview box and select School's Layer. Transparent Star This example creates a triangle, colors it blue, sizes it to 12 pixels, and sets the feel of the triangle to 40% opacity or mostly transparent. Click the Add a new style again, then enter Transparent Star for its name. Select Simple Point Style from the existing style, then click on the Copy link. Now in the well-known name element from line 17, set the shape to star. With line 19, set the color to blue. Press Enter at the end of this line and in the new line, set the fill of the triangle to 40% opacity. An opacity value of 1 means that the shape is drawn 100% opaque, while an opacity value of 0 means that the shape is completely transparent. Finally, set the size of the star to 12 pixels, line 23. Click on Validate to check if you misspelled something. When it returns no errors, click on Apply button. Switch to the Layer Preview section and click the layer name above the Preview box and select School's layer. Using external graphics. External graphics are vector or raster files containing a complex image. They use a graphic instead of a simple shape to render the points. The supported formats are the common graphic files you use in web applications such as PNG, JPG, and SVG. The resources are referred to by a URL, so you can store it to your Joe Server data folder or get it from an online resource. Take the graphic symbol from the web and copy it to the Joe server on the line home slash data slash styles folder.
Click the add a new style again, then enter graphic point for its name. Select point option from the list of default style, then click on the generate link. Enter external graphic point for the title of style in line 13. Remove the mark section from line 16 to line 21 and insert an external graphic element by clicking on insert image button at the top of the style editor box. Select your symbol from choose existing image drop down list. The external graphic element distinguishes from the commonly used shape such as square and circles that are internal to the renderer. Line 17 sets the path and file name of the graphic. The value of href can be absolute or is in this case relative to the location of the SLD file, and the format element indicates the format or map type of the graphic. Change the size to 20. It determines the size of the displayed graphic. Click on validate to check if you misspelled something. When it returns no errors, click on apply button. To preview the legend of the style based on current settings, click the preview legend link. Switch to the layer preview section and click on the layer name above the preview box. Then select the schools layer. In this session, we explain the first part of the creation of point styles by Joe Server. It's our pleasure that you subscribe to our channel and watch the videos. Also, if you would like to know more information around the publishing raster data formats in Joe Server, we recommend you to watch the suggested video. Have a good time!